Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I have my coffee here, ready to sit down and play around with some new makeup that I've recently got. I am a little bit sick, so if I sound a bit nasally, then that's why. I was going to originally do a voiceover for this video, but when I'm trying new things, I like to express exactly how I'm feeling about the products instead of just doing a voiceover. I've got a bunch of new makeup that I've recently got. So I'm just going to sit down, have no idea what look I'm going to do or anything like that. I'm just going to sit down and play around. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and yeah, just keep on watching it if you want to see me doing makeup. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't have any new primers that I can use, so I'm just going to use my Benefit Professional um, and pretty much just like put that down the center and next to my nose. I'm going to go with the eyebrows first. I'm going to go in with the Mellow Brow Definer. I've been using this a lot recently. It's basically like a double-sided brow pencil, really similar to the Anastasia one, their brow definer. I'm just going to brush through the brows. Just use that to fill them in. Alright, I'm just going to use the Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer just on a concealer brush and just use that to make the eyebrows a bit more defined. And then just use the rest to prime my eyelids. I'm just going to take the Benefit Gimme Brow in the shade number 3 and just use that over the top. For primer, I'm also going to pop on some of the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base because it feels amazing on the skin. I'm just going to blend that in. I'm going to try out the new Benefit Hello Happy Foundations. I have the shades 5 and 6, so I'm not quite sure what will... Oh, it's like really runny. Very liquidy. I'm just going to put a few dots of 5. That does look a little bit light. So I might go in with a bit of 6 as well. I'm going to go in with a beauty blender and see how this goes. That's a good color, I feel. That was a lot that I put on my hand, but it just kind of like absorbed on the beauty blender. I do have quite a few breakouts around my um, mouth. I think they're hormonal. All right, so this is a really good color. It's, I wouldn't say it's like super full coverage. It's more of a medium sort of coverage foundation. I'm not sure what it's supposed to be, but that's just my opinion of it anyways. I think I might need to mix a little bit of my Urban Decay in with it because it's just like not up to my coverage standard. But the color of it's really nice. Yeah, I'm going to mix a little bit of my foundation which is the Urban Decay All Nighter. I'm just gonna put like one pump and blend this in too. That's just gave a little bit more coverage around my blemishes, which is what I needed. So I don't have any new concealers to use at the moment, but I've been loving the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer by Too Faced. I use the shade Nude. I'm just gonna do a few dots underneath my eyes. This stuff is super full coverage. I've been so obsessed with it. I'm going to blend it out. Not going to try and cream contour this time. I just need to like come to terms that I don't know how to do it and I need to stop trying because it always fails. Like literally always. Okay, and to set that concealer in place, I'm going to take my favorite, I know, I fully flipped and have converted to the Huda Beauty translucent powder because I'm actually obsessed with it. I use the shade um, Cupcake 
and I've been using this more than my Laura Mercier and that says a lot because I'm so obsessed with that translucent powder but this one, I don't know, I just love it, the smell of it, how it goes on my skin. I don't like to apply it with a beauty blender though, I find that it's too finely milled for that so I usually use a brush, just gonna grab a brush like this and just use that to pack it on. Yeah, I don't know, it doesn't really work with a beauty blender as well as a brush. Companies don't really come out with like pressed powders as often as like other makeup products. So I'm just going to stick with my OG Australis Fresh and Flawless. If you guys haven't tried this, like you need to. It is the best pressed powder I've ever used. I'm going to need a brush. Honestly, if you guys live in Australia, go to Priceline right now. Actually, I think Priceline has a half price sale on like over these next couple days. So literally go and grab it. Even if it's not on sale, it's like $11 full price. But I always seem to like grab heaps when they have a sale. It's, it is a foundation, I think. It's like a pressed foundation. So it does have so much coverage. And I like that it's matte. Like it doesn't, you know, it's not like a dewy matte powder because I am quite oily. So I like to put matte foundations and matte powders on because throughout the day my face does get like dewy from my oil. I don't really have any new bronzers. Last video I used those new um, L'Oreal ones. But I've got this NARS one that I've recently been obsessed with. It's the Casino Bronzer. Pretty sure it's not new at all. But I just really like it. Um, I just like the colour of it. So I'm just going to go in with this. Just really pretty on the cheeks if you want like a sun kiss sort of bronzer look I need to like pin my hair back this brush by the way everyone always asks me is from iconic London it's just like a round um, top brush put it along my forehead and then a little bit down like the size of my nose but I'll go in to contour my nose later I've been a little bit into that lately Surprisingly, so I never used to be like into that trend. Like when everyone was doing it on Instagram, I was like, no, nah, not for me. Just probably because I didn't know how to do it. <laughs> now I'm gonna go in with some more of that Huda Beauty translucent powder. Okay, I just dropped the lid. Okay. So for blush, I'm going to take the Urban Decay Back Talk Palette. I'm going to take this blush right here. It's just like a gorgeous corally colour. I'm just going to pop that on my cheeks. Oh, it's so pretty and shimmery. So for highlighter, I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Sweets Glow Kit. haven't touched one of these in so long. I'm going to go in with Butterscotch, which is a gorgeous gold. I always forget how amazing Anastasia highlighters are, seriously. Oh my god. Love. That is seriously so nice. It's like literally like a true gold colour. I did on my Cupid's bow. I might um, contour my nose a little bit. Alright, I'm going to take a bit of cooler. Just on like a little tapered blending brush. Just very slightly. I'm getting the hang of contouring noses now, I think. That's close enough. Oh, it's a bit too close. Okay. So I recently got sent the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina palette. For those that don't know who Norvina is, it is her daughter and from what I'm gathering, she's obsessed with purple because there's so many like really pretty purpley, plummy and pinky shades in this palette. Give you guys a bit more of a zoom up. One thing I love about her palettes is that it comes with a blending brush and I actually really like it. Um, most palettes that come with brushes are pretty crap. But this one comes with a double-sided one, a blending brush, and then like a packing brush. So, may as well use it today. 
So I think I want to go in with that purple shade, like that is calling my name. And I haven't really done anything purpley recently on my channel. So I think I'm going to start off with incense. <laughs> oh God. All right. It's like a, it's a transition color, but I wouldn't say it's like orangey base. It's like more brownie. So I'm going to use that pretty much in my crease as a transition color. All right, I'm just gonna go and pretty much put that everywhere. One mistake I think people make with eyeshadow is not blending it high enough or not being, or people being like afraid to blend it higher than the crease, but obviously you're gonna want the eyeshadow above the crease so you can actually see it. Um, when I started makeup, I just kept my makeup in the crease and below, um, which kind of like made my eyes look a bit like shut and I don't know, small. So when you're blending like your transition color, like go into your crease, blend it above the crease so you can kind of like see the eyeshadow because like that's obviously the point in eyeshadow. And don't be afraid to go like above, you know, almost near your brow bone. Obviously just don't have a heavy hand and you know put really dark shades there so like I usually just like blend it all the way up so it's like looks so seamless it's really pretty like it's just like a true soft brown like no orangey undertones I know a lot of people don't really like that like especially a couple of my clients you know request the non-orangey sort of brown look but that's completely fine like not everyone likes that orangey sort of undertone. I personally do. I like coppery sort of burnt orange colors. Um, I feel like it complements my eyes and as well as like colored eyes as well. But some people just don't like that. Um, so I basically just put that like everywhere and smoked it like all the way up. Actually, you know what I might do? A halo eye. Cause I really want to use this um, plummy sort of color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take passion which is like, yeah, like a dark plummy sort of color and use that in the outer corners as well as the inner corners. So I'm just like patting that on first. Ooh. First. May as well bring it down to the lower lash line because I probably will anyways. I always have on excess so it doesn't get too messy. Okay, I'm going to add that plummy color to my inner corners as well. I'm going to take the other side of the brush though and just focus that in the center tear duct. Not center tear duct, my inner tear duct. And also on the other side. I literally love halo eye looks. I'm just gonna take the purple and run it underneath. Um, is he right? Someone just decided to vacuum outside. Great. So I'm just gonna take some of that plum color and start using that on the lower lashes as well. I'm obsessed with this palette already. This color is so pretty. I feel like purpley colors really complement brown eyes. I'm just gonna use the blending brush side just to blend it out. Might grab a bit of this pinky shade in my crease as well. It's called Love. I've been eyeing it, so I'm gonna like try and put it above here oh that's pretty okay i'm gonna go in with some concealer and use that to cut the top of this for the um what's it called i'm having a mind blank Halo eye. Just gonna cut the top of this. Just 
just like that and then kind of like put it on the lid just to make the purple really stand out. I'm just going to do that for now and then I'll blend it out in a sec. I'm going to take a little brush like this and just use that to pat in the concealer and sort of like blend it in with that dark eyeshadow. Then I'm going to go in with the Norvina palette again and take this purple colour. It's called Celestial. Wait. Yeah, Celestial. What I'm basically going to do is just... What I might do is add the slightest bit of this pink. It's called Wild Child, like directly in the center. Like that. I might go over the top line with some white eyeliner. This one's just from Too Faced, it's their sketch marker. And just like, Okay, so for my inner corner highlight, I'm going to go in with this new Hourglass Scattered Light Glitter Eyeshadow. That's what it looks like. So pretty. Oh, that's so pretty. I think you can really see it that well. Because it's more of a darker sort of colour. Not really dark, but... Yeah, you can't really tell that much on camera. I'm going to go in with mascara. I'm going to use the new Hourglass one. It is their Ultra Black Mascara. I'm just gonna like really lightly coat my eyelash extensions. Just from the fallout of the eyeshadows. And just to give them a bit more volume. I'm gonna take the Melrose Place by Gerard Cosmetics. It's a very similar color. Filling my lips, I'm going to take the new Huda Beauty Demi Matte um, Lip Colour. This one's in the shade Chica. These are so pigmented and I love them. I've been like wearing them non-stop. Like how pretty is this shade? I feel like this shade complements my eye look so well. I'm going to go over this lip colour with a lip gloss, one of the new Anastasia Beverly Hills ones. This one's in the shade Stella. So excited for this. That is so pretty. they like got glitter in it. Oh my god, that's gorgeous. Finally, I'm going to spray my face with the Urban Decay D-Slick Setting Spray. And that is the final look. I'm so happy with how this look turned out. I love the eyeshadow. I love that eyeshadow palette. I think it's amazing. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. You are fool's girl.